the Lord. Hello everyone, you are welcome to MFM Tallinn weekly online broadcast Tag Be Strong. We are happy to see you watching our videos. We know you are getting blessed by them. And we trust God that this broadcast will bless you mightily as well. In Jesus' name, Amen. Welcome to the month of July. And my prayer for you that this second half of the year, you are going to experience unimaginable speed in all areas of your lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations once again. Welcome to the month of July. I'm happy to see you and I trust God that before the end of this month, you will have testimonies. Thank you, Father. Today, by the grace of God, I will be speaking to you on what is very important that the Lord has placed in my heart to share with us. And I've titled it, God of all possibilities. God of all possibilities. What do I mean when I say God of all possibilities? Join me in the scriptures. I'll be reading from the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 26 to 30. The book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 26 to 30. I'll be reading the King James Version. Let's go. And they that heard it said, what then? Who then can be saved? And he said, These things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Let's read those two verses again before we continue. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, These things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Verse 28 goes on to say that. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, there is no man that has left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake, who shall not receive a manifold more in this present time and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. What do I mean when I say God of all possibilities? There is a trend nowadays and it burdens my heart. And I want to share it with you. And the trend is simple. Children of God that refuse to grow in the way of the Lord, running from one crusade to the other, from one healing conference to one prayer conference, from one deliverance ground to one mountain, from one mountain to one river, from one river to one prophet. This pandemic has become a plague that is everywhere now. And still yet, these people claim to be children of God. Beloved, in case you don't know, if you are a child of God, healing, miracles is your birthright. You are not supposed to be running around seeking it. You are not supposed to, to be running around seeking for healing, miracles, deliverance. No. But what the Lord said to me is that because most of us, we have refused to grow. And we have left our spiritual growth in the hands and we have made it the responsibility of pastors, which is not their responsibility. Because of that, we are jumping from pillar to post, running from apostle to prophet to bishop, to have bishop, to lay hands on you from one crusade to the other. You see, till Jesus come, there will be crusades because it is the Great Commission. In case you don't know, the crusades are meant to bring in new souls into the kingdom of God, to bring in unsaved men. The Bible says, in the days of his power, the people shall be willing. You see, the Bible says, how will they believe without what? Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are our birthright. But for the children of the world to know that there is power in the kingdom of God, we need to carry out crusades and let the children of God see the power of our God. And when they see 
the power and the demonstration of our God, they will be convinced and they will be converted and they will become a part of the kingdom. That is the main purpose of crusades. That is the main purpose of healing, deliverance crusade, healing crusade, and whatever name it is being called nowadays. You, as a child of God, you are supposed to be amongst those interceding that God, let life be safe in this coming crusade. Not that you are the one running around seeking for what? Miracles. And in case you don't know, most of the times, because people have refused to heed the terms and conditions of the kingdom, even when they receive these miracles, the devil still steals it from their hands. And because of that, they keep running from one crusade to the next prayer conference. You yourself sit down and think about it. The Bible says that if we obey the Lord, that all these blessings shall follow us. And if we disobey the Lord, He said, all these causes shall follow. Meaning that if you see a pattern of you receiving miracle and losing the miracle, it means that sincerely you are not walking in obedience to God. Are you truly a Christian? Are you truly born again? Are you truly spirit-filled? Or you are just following the crowd? It must be said we have a lot of mixed multitudes in churches nowadays. In the name of we are looking for crowd, we have low down, we have reduced our standards in church because we want everybody to feel at home. It is not supposed to be so. Listen and listen well. The church is a place when a sinner comes in, he has only two options. Either the sinner repents and gives his life to Jesus or the sinner refuses to come back to church again. Our churches should not be a place where sinners are comfortable to listen to sermon every Sunday because the sermon is not convicting them of their sins. If truly we are the children of God, then miracles should be part of our lifestyles. The Bible says, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out demons. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And if they take any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. This is the summary of all the miracles that are happening. So, what the Lord has come to tell you, asked me to tell you today, is that He's the God of all possibilities. He is still doing miracles. And the Lord said, I should tell us that as a church, as a people of God, we should not take the miracles for granted. We should not get familiar with God. We should sit up as the church of God and reference Him and give thanks for all the miracles we are seeing in our days. And the Lord has asked me to come and tell you that this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. The dead are going to come back to life. Yes, by the power of God in this season, a mighty quake of deliverance and miracles is about to happen. But you need to position yourself for this wave of revival that is coming. You see, wave upon wave of revival has come, but there's a mighty one coming in this season. Dead people are going to come back to life. You see, legs that have been amputated are going to grow back. Yes, in this season, eyes that are empty, empty socket eyes, are going to receive sight in this season. Miracles are going to happen in divert version that even the people that are recording the miracles, them themselves will be, they'll be, they'll be shocked about what God is doing in their lives and amongst them. And I pray that you will not just be a spectator when this revival happens. You will be a part of this revival. You will play a role in it and you will benefit out of this revival in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember the topic again is what? God of all possibilities. God can do anything for his children. The Bible says with man this is impossible but with God all things are possible. So my counsel for you 
young man, young woman, sit down in the church God has ordained for you. Serve sincerely. Serve and seek the face of the Lord sincerely. Stop running around. That miracle you are seeking is in the church you are attending. But the reason you are not seeing it is because you are not serving. You are not seeking sincerely. And you are also despising the man of God that you are worshipping under. You are despising it. You believe he's not anointed. You believe he's not popular. You believe he's not on the TV. He does not have many views. He does not have many likes. God does not work with all those things. Those things are metrics. They are good. But God does not work with those things. The day Saul was converted to Paul, the day his eyes was open, there were no cameras. It wasn't a crusade. It was just a young man of God that came into the house and laid hands on him. And he said, Brother Paul, receive your sight. If you know how many hidden miracles that are happening, they really outweigh the ones we are seeing on TV. The miracles that are not shared are more, more outstanding than the ones we are hearing. So, my prayer for you is that you receive the counsel of God and sit down in one place and serve God sincerely and honor the man of God that has been set over you and what? And worship God in that local church. And as you do so, miracles that you do not expect will begin to roll into your life back to back in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I believe you have been blessed. If you have been blessed, share these videos with your friends and loved ones. Tell them that miracles is still happening and it will still happen and it will happen in your life and you will share testimonies. Remember, this broadcast has been brought to you by MFM Thaling. It's a weekly online broadcast. We have called it Be Strong. We pull it out of the scriptures, Ephesians 6 verse 10 that says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I'm your friend in the school of prayer and deliverance, Pastor Tunde Abeloku. God bless you and see you next week. Bye.